two. Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL P10 which is all about the triangle proportionality theorem. So anything you see in this IXL is pretty much going to be review of what we've seen before in the other P series IXLs. Uh, and so these problems are just a series of problems that give you two triangles. Now the kicker is the two triangles are going to be kind of inscribed, meaning the first triangle is going to be inscribed inside the larger triangle. Okay, really what you can see is they make a triangle and then they just draw a line that is parallel with the opposite side here and it is going to form two similar triangles, right? The small similar triangle and the large triangle. And these problems are pretty much all the same. Okay, so not a lot of variation, which is nice. Okay, so we're going to start with this problem right here. It tells us that the uh, line VW is parallel with UX. That's what the double line means right there. So these two lines are parallel. So you can write something like an arrow right there and like an arrow right there. That just shows they're parallel. But anyway, so now it just wants us to find the length of WX. So it wants us to find how long this little section is right here. Okay, all right, so we are just going to come up with our proportion ratios. So let's do um, the bases uh, equal to the side lengths. So we'll do the base of the smaller triangle, the proportionality ratios, uh, over the base of the triangle as a whole. The triangle as a whole, the, the, the length as a whole is what I'm trying to say. It's not 50, it is 50 plus 25. So this entire length here is 75. So that's what we have to write. We haven't really seen much like that before, but that's kind of the other difference with this IXL. Meaning we're gonna do the side of the smaller triangle, which is 12, all over the entire length here, which is gonna be 12 plus WX. So we actually have to write 12 plus WX there. Okay, now from here, we're just going to cross multiply and figure out what our missing WX is. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do 12 times 75, which is 900 equal to 25 times 12 plus WX. Okay, so that is 900 equals 25 times 12 is going to be 300. And then plus you gotta distribute the 25 over to the WX, so 25 WX. Okay, now to get the 25 WX by itself, we're gonna subtract 300 from both sides. So we are left with 600 equals 25 WX. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is divide both sides by 25 to get the WX by itself. And so we are left with 600 divided by 25 is going to be 24, which equals WX. So WX is just going to be 24, and that is all, okay? right and something I want to point out too is you see uh, kind of like this the scale factor is 2 because 25 or double of 25 or 25 times 2 is 50 and then double of 12 or 12 times 2 is 24 so you might be able to use that sometimes as well okay same problem here ST is parallel with RU so RU parallel with ST find RS so find this length right here. Okay, well, if this line is gonna be parallel and this side is two and this side is two, that means if this one is one, this one RS is going to be 
one ad as well. Okay, find TU. So we can do another scale factor here. Five times two is 10, therefore nine times two is going to be 18. Okay, find SW. Okay, so you can do scale factor or uh, proportionality ratios here as well. So you can do the method where you do uh, one side over the other, or you can do the one short side over the entirety. Let's just stick with the shorter sides here. And we are going to do 24 over 36 and set that equal to SW over 30. And then from here, we can cross multiply, or we can just uh, simplify each side, whatever is easier for you. And so we are just going to multiply here and get 24 times 30 as 720, and then 36 times SW as 36 SW. All right, we'll divide both sides by 36, and we have 20 equaling SW. So SW, so this side is going to be 20. Okay, so same problem. Let's jump and see how much harder it gets. Okay, so this is where they start introducing not just pieces, uh, the, the side lengths, but also uh, the entirety here of the side. So all you'd have to do is go, well, this whole thing is 33 or it's 11 plus 22, right? This side would be 22. And then you just use those numbers to figure out you're missing ST. Okay, same problem. Uh, still the same problem. Still the same problem, which tells you something. Not a lot of variation and difficulty, right? Okay, so then eventually you'll get to problems like this uh, that are the same concept, but they add variables in there. So we'll do one of these, and that's where I will end the video. Okay. So we'll do... Um, 22 over 44 and set that equal to z plus, oh not z plus 10, z plus 20. All over 10z. Okay, then we'll cross multiply. So 22 times 10z is going to be 220z which is equal to 44 times Z plus 20. Okay, we'll keep the 220Z and we'll distribute the 44. So 44 times Z is 44Z. And then 44 times 20 is going to be 880. Okay, and now we just need to combine like terms here. Uh, we have z's over here so we will subtract the 44z from this side over here cross those out and then 220z minus 44z is going to be 176z which is equal to 880 and then we will divide both sides by 176 to get z by itself. At 880 divided by 176 is just 5. So we will go back here, 5, and then just type 5 in for z. And keep in mind, we're not finding a length here, we're figuring out what z equals. It's just asking what z is equal. So we're not actually plugging it back in to any of the uh, side lengths there. Okay. And that looks like it's going to be about it. So that is where I'm going to stop the video. Stay safe, take care, and 
Tune in next time for the next IXL tutorials. Goodbye.